Hey, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to do a pretty simple painting. It's going to have a barn in it. Uh, I got, as of right now, I got a wagon wheel I'm going to put in. As of right now, I may change my mind. I don't know. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. Thanks for watching. All right, are we ready to get started? Uh, I got a little... I got a little bit of liquid white right in here. These are trees. This is going to be an area of trees right here. And I'm just going to take a little touch of phthalo blue. I want it pretty light today. Let's see what, let's see, yeah, it's okay, I guess. I want it really light down here. Yeah, I figured we would do an easy painting because I've been doing a few that are a little bit more difficult and that's not really fair to people that are just learning to paint if they want to follow along and a lot of people do a lot of people are just starting out and I gotta throw a throw one in every now and then it's pretty basic and this is this is a pretty basic one right here because I like to be fair I believe in fairness I got a little brush here because there ain't much sky. I'm just using the same brush I put the liquid white on with, to be quite honest. Let's make this a little darker on the top area. A little bit darker. Yeah, I did a painting a while ago. Oh boy. <laughs> um, it's the one, I don't know if, I think I'll have it out by the time you see this one. I don't know. But anyways, it's coming up soon if it's not, gonna, if it's not out already. But boy, it was a doozy. It was a stone wall. And man, there was, it took a lot of work on that one. Got a little spot right there. I don't know what that is. And we'll worry about that later. I think that sky is probably going to just be good enough right there. I think that's fine. Just very basic, very simple. Not much to it, not much happening. Sounds good to me. Let me wipe this brush off a little bit. I might just use this same brush. On these trees back here, these are going to be kind of distant, distant trees. This, this canvas is all dry down through here. There's nothing on it. I'm just kind of going to give the indication of stuff back in here. I just need some filler. Fill it up with something. And this one inch brush will do that pretty fast. Two inch brush would be faster, but I'm not going to get it out. I don't need to. This one here would be good enough. I'm just going to throw some stuff in. Just do it the easy way. Just use this brush. This is my palette. It's a disaster. This is I've been painting for probably four or five hours already today. This is this is it for today, right here. No more painting for today after this one. I don't think I need to really bring. I don't really have a picture to look at, and as I've said before, not the best way to do it. But if you don't have something good to paint. I believe, I'll just keep bringing this down right here. Just going to keep bringing this on down. Because I think I'm going to have darker stuff right here in the front, so I'm just going to scrub some of this in. Just to put some collar down. Okay. Let me set this down a second. Wipe my brush off. I always got to wipe your brush off. Let's get ready to put our grass in. I'm going to start with some cad yellow light. And if you've ever seen me paint before, this is how I do it. I just go around, I put just collars here and there and then I will take my one inch brush and I'll mix everything up and that'll give us a good base. The further away something is the lighter it'll be in collar. I'm going to start getting into some ochre. I think my wagon wheel is going to disappear 
here in just a minute. It's going to be darker here. I think I believe the sun's going to be coming down this way today, an odd angle. But that's just how it is. <laughs> Nothing we can do about it. At least I believe so. As of right now, that's how the, that's the direction of the sun. I may change it. I change my mind a lot if I don't have something to look at. And that that right there is the problem a lot of times. If you don't have something to look at, you wind up changing your mind, and it causes you extra work. I'll try to keep these wheels, but I, I'm not sure. That's acrylic paint I got on there. I'm thinking the sun's coming down this way because these trees are dark. That would make sense. So that's pretty much going to be, the barn's going to be a little darker. There's not going to be any sun hitting the front of it. This is Prussian blue I'm using now. Yeah, if I, if I do that with the sun, the barn will be darker. That's facing us. So I'm going to throw a little darkness in here. Throw a little darkness in there. I got some alizarin crimson I need to use up. I'll throw some of it down in here just to get rid of it. It's a foreground collar, red. It's kind of red. Now let me get me a brush. This time of day, I don't really have what you call clean brushes. I may have to use a two inch brush. It's the only thing I have left that's clean. Yeah, I guess we'll, guess we'll use it. But you start up here in the yellow. And this is just our foundation. I'm going to go over everything with the fan brush. You know, to put the final touches on it. But this is just the foundation. This just gives, I just want varied collars. I want my collars nice and mixed. And you always start up here in the yellow. You don't want to start the bottom to work up. You see, yeah, I can see that wagon wheel. Good deal. I got to, I got to hang on. I'm gonna shake everything loose if I don't. And this is how I do this. This is how I put the foundation in. We have a nice mix of colors. Yeah, because grass ain't solid green. If you look at grass, it's not solid green. When you make grass, you don't want to make just green. You want lots of different colors. And it's dark here in the front because that's the way it works. The further away something is, the lighter in color. The closer something is, the darker. The more vibrant. That's the way it is in practically everything. I think that looks pretty good. That's a great base right there to get started with. Yeah, this wagon wheel is kind of broken and you can't really see it, but I can see it. That's good. Kind of broken and busted. Yeah, this is just an old rough looking, old rough looking barn. Okay, let's go ahead and get our barn collared in. Let's get all of our collar down on the canvas. Um, I'm probably going to take a little blue, a little black, a little blue, a little black. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get, because I think our barn is going to be kind of bluish, bluish. That's too dark. Let me put a hunk of white in here and see what we come up with. It's a little bit for a base. I think it might be okay. This is just our base collar. You always got to have some kind of collar down on your canvas before you can do anything. I mean, this and this canvas is dry. Actually, I am just going to go ahead and do all this. Yeah, this is probably a good collar to start with. This is a number four round that I'm using here. I just it was dirty and I grabbed it. <laughs> I got so many dirty brushes. It's going to take me 
40 minutes to clean all my brushes today, I think. Yeah, we're just scrubbing in collars, all we're doing. Scrubbing in collar. I mean, you could really, if you wanted to, and I do a lot of times, I'll throw different collars in. I mean, you know, this is our base. See, there's some brown, so you just, you know, you're not going to, this is just the base. You're not, this is not the final product, so you can throw all kinds of collars in. Very, vary your collars. It's always a good idea. I'll have to get a smaller brush to go around these edges. You know, it gives you a nice, see that brown will look good. Throwing in that little bit of brown, that'll make it look a little bit better. Yeah, you can throw in all kinds of collars on this part. <laughs> Don't do it on your final, your final work, but just putting collar down, you can just throw all kinds of stuff in. Anything you want, just, just not green or something like that, or yellow. But you know, dark collars, because this is the dark side of the barn. And I'll have to get a smaller brush. Because actually, I think this barn comes over a little bit and down. And for the roof, I am not sure. So since I'm not sure, uh, a little burnt sienna. We're going to throw in some, some more varied collars. I'm not sure what color I really want. Let's use some brown. I see a, I see a lot of pictures of roofs with, that are brown. Actually, there are all kinds of colors. Green, red. I'll have to get me a smaller brush. I'm just going to keep doing this, and then we'll be back. All right, let me show you what I'm doing here. This painting's actually been sitting around quite a bit longer than I wanted it to. It's probably been sitting here four days. I just couldn't get to it. But I'm making boards. I mean, this this is what I'm trying to do. I'm making boards. This is probably almost dry. I mean, it's, it's been sitting around way too long. But I got a little black, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of white. And I'm just taking a little black, a little phthalo blue, a little bit of white, and this is my little pile. I just got a little tiny pile. I'm just kind of going kind of slow on it today. And this is a quarter inch flat brush. This is any brush I really can use for something like this. I tried a different brush and it just didn't seem to be working well. And I'm leaving little gaps in here. And I'm gonna try to make those, you know, splits in the boards. I mean, that's my thought. As of right now, I try to make these barns all look a little different so you don't get bored of seeing the same old design. So that's my thought anyway, whether it works or not. I mean, you know, I change my mind a lot. <laughs> I adapt with the painting is what I call it. And this is, this is what I'm doing. I just want to show you what I was doing here, how to do this. This is, it's nothing really technical or anything. But this is what I, this is what I'm doing. I might do something like that. I don't have to do it. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I, I just kind of go with the flow. Sometimes if it looks good, I'll do it. If it don't, I won't. That's how I operate. Sometimes maybe it's not the best way, but as I said, you just kind of got to go with the flow of the painting. You you can't just stick with an idea if it don't look if it don't look good. You you just can't do it. I mean, there's no point in painting if you're gonna make something that you don't like. I mean, I make things sometimes that other people don't like. <laughs> but you know, you try to do, do what you what you think looks good. I mean, that's the goal. If you're happy with your painting, then you've succeeded. But this is all I'm doing. I just wanted to show you. I think we are going to go ahead and put our grass in. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a couple trees in here, but I think we need to go ahead and get this started. We're gonna start up in here because I'm gonna get a little bit on this barn. I'll have to redo some of that. But let's go up in here, and I'm gonna start with 
pure yellow, cad yellow light. I want the sun to kind of be coming down behind the barn, kind of this way. So we know the sun is going to be hitting here. And we know the sun's going to be hitting over here. Up here on this hill. Yeah, I figured I'd put this in before I put the trees in. I could do it the other way around, but then I'd have to work around the trees. Either way's fine. It don't make no difference. Not that it's not that big of a difference. The only difference is you just have to work around your trees a little bit. I might make it a little bit darker because it's next to the next to the woods. Yeah, I gotta get finished with this painting, man. This one's kinda it has been sitting around a while. I haven't been able to get to it. I bet this painting's been sitting around six days. Every bit of this is dry. You don't really want to do that. I mean, I just couldn't get to it. But Typically, do not want to let them sit around that long. This is some yellow ochre I'm throwing in here. My wheel might vanish on us. I have to put this paint over top of it. And let's just put a little bit more down through here. I'm going to have to change it to green. Put a little bit right in here. I may have a little road coming out here. I'm not, I don't know yet. Just like always, I'm kind of making things up as I go. <laughs> Now we know next to the barn it's dark if the sun's coming down behind the barn. We, we know that. So we're going to make it darker right in here. Give it the old shadow appearance. And you can put it up Put it up on your barn a little bit if you want to cover up the bottom of it. And we're just going to keep on doing this here for a minute. Yeah, my poor wheel's going to vanish. I, I may not put it in here. I, I just got to see how the painting develops. I mean, if I want to, I will, uh, you know, you got to adapt. If I think it needs it, I will. And so on. If I don't think it's be any good in this painting, I won't use it. I just put things in there just for ideas a lot of times. I'm going to take a little bit of Prussian blue. I, I hope this is Prussian blue I got. Kind of looks like it. If I'm coming down, it's going to get darker. I'm going to throw some of this up in here. Well, I'm just going to keep going on here and, keep, and finish this out, and then I'll be back. All right, as you can see, I've started adding a few things. I'm not done with them yet, but I'm going to have me a path here. I added three trees, and I'm going to have a rain barrel right there. So let's go ahead and start highlighting a little bit of this here. The sun is coming down this way, kind of behind the barn. That's, that was our idea. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to make these leaf trees. I'm not going to use the one-inch brush today. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the tree first. I think it'd make it easier. Get me a paper towel because you pick up. I just put these trees in. This is real dark color that I'm picking up. And we're going to go along the edge. This is how I do it. Other people do it different, but this is how I do it. And I'm going to put my white edge See, it's not pure white, it's mixing, so they say not to use pure white sometimes. And 
just sometimes they say don't use black you can get by with that but it's mixing so it's not really pure white that's how I look at it but do whatever is easiest for you do whatever is easiest as long as it looks good and we're going to come all the way down and I'm turning my brush spitting my brush as I'm pulling it down and that keeps the paint flowing because if I didn't I wouldn't get very far and I'm going to hit a little bit on the other side here real quick get this one right here of course this is just collar number one I put lots of collars in the trees I'll go ahead and just hit these anyway right here we'll see there is some, some type of light coming through that's all we're going to say today there's some kind of light coming through just make things up as we go don't we <laughs> and this tree back here I think most of this is going to be leaves I don't think you're really going to see much anything on this one at least that's my plan Plans are subject to change, but as of now, now this little one here might be a little tougher. I may even have to get a smaller brush. I'm just going to barely touch the edge. Actually, I'm kind of on the outside of it, really. I'm just on the outside, barely touching. Just to give it some light by this point it should be in the shadow of the barn anyway coming down in this area but we still want we still want some color to it I think that's good on that one then a lot of times I'll take ochre some brown some burnt sienna and I'll start putting some collars in Ochre is a nice color to use. You can use all type. I use blue, and the more color the better. I, d I put it all in here. This tree's pretty wet, so. Take some brown. Mix it with some white. Yeah, I'll probably have to let this tree sit for a little bit here. I may even take a, have to take a shop towel to it. It's really wet. I put this, I put that brown and black on there pretty thick. But anyways, this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to work, highlight my trees. I'll put a few leaves on them. And then I'll bring you back and show you when I put the highlight leaves on them. I'm getting ready to do some highlighting on these trees right here. I just took a little bit of yellow and I, I put some blue and green down first made the leaves you see how dark they are took some yellow and I just kind of tapped on it about where I think the Sun would be touching it and now I'm going to go ahead I'll go ahead and hold this up and put, put my final highlight on these the Sun is coming from you know over in that direction somewhere so I'm just going to go right around Right around the edges, right where I think, and I'm going to start on the outside and come in. About where I think the sun would be hitting it. Give me a paper towel here real quick. Actually, I can't hold that. I forgot. <laughs> i got to wipe my brush off after each time. got to have a paper towel in your hand. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to work, work our way down this edge. Because I think the sun would be clipping through there it's probably catching some of this right in here you know you just have to use your imagination it's all up to you your home painting it's your decision just whatever you think I mean it'll be fine don't sweat the small stuff as long as it looks okay you're you're good 
let's go ahead and start on this next one over here. I'm not going to do this big tree right now. I'm going to save it for just a little later. But I'm starting on the outside. I'm gonna, I need to get a pretty good chunk of yellow, cad yellow light. Start on the outside. And I really want these outside ones to stand out. And I'll just bring them in a little bit, work work it in just a little bit, you know, coming inward. But you always start from the outside and come in. Because if you start on the inside and go out, your brush is going to be messed up. It's going to have green and blue, and I think I even put a little black in here. It's going to have every color under the sun in your brush, and you won't be able to do anything with it. I think I'll put a little bit right here. You'll see the barn's in the way. This is going to be, it's going to create somewhat of a shadow. So there's not going to be a whole lot down here, but I will put a little bit. There's not going to be a lot. That may be good for that one. I'm going to finish this one, and then I'll bring you back. Well, yeah, I still got still got some work to do on this, but I'm, but I'm getting closer. So for the foreground, I think the wheel, we're going to do away with the wheel. And I'm just going to put a few fence posts, maybe a broken fence or something right here. I, I kind of like that in the, in the foreground. I actually see part of that wheel here, so this is a good spot to put one. I think I'm just going to put a pretty good sized one right here. As I said, I'm making this up as... <laughs> as I'm going along and you default back to what you know uh, you know there's my barrel which is in a lot of my paintings fence post which kind of actually goes with the barn but if you don't have something to look at you kind of default back to what you know and what you remember and that's probably what we're doing here let's see one there and maybe we'll have one a nice big fat one See, is that all we want? I don't know. Maybe if we had one right here. I don't think I've done one like this before. One fence post. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep putting them in. I wasn't going to keep doing putting them in, but I'm trying to see if it looks good or not. Uh, let's put a leaner. That's why that one's fallen. Yeah, that would explain it. The post is leaning. I'm thinking. I can do I want one here or is that enough? Oh boy, decisions, decisions. Let's see, could I put one there? I'm going for it. Right or wrong, it's going in. Put another one right here. And I do believe that might be it. All right, let's throw some highlights on this real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my white. I do them just like I do anything else. I always start with white. I don't know why you don't have to, but I do. I think some sun could be clipping some of this. So I'm going to start with my white. I'm twisting my brush as I'm coming down, just like I always do. And we're going to hold my hand steady here, run some across this. Put some here at the top a little bit. See this, even though this is, looks real white right now, 
by the time I put other collars in, it's not going to be that white. So I put a heavy coat of white on to start with because it's not going to wind up looking like this. But fence posts do go with the barn painting. I mean, there are certain things, even the rain barrel, certain things just go with the barn painting. I actually really like barns. As you can probably tell, I really don't have that many in my playlist, though. I'm really behind on barns, to be quite honest. I could do more barns and still not have too many. And just keep doing this. This should be our last one right here. Now I'm going to take some ochre and some burnt sienna. I'm going to kind of mix it together. I'm just this is just for coloring. Just throwing some collars in. I always put Prussian blue on the dark side of everything. Trees, fence posts. It gives it a great shadow effect, in my opinion. And we're just going to rub this collar in. You have to keep wiping your brush off. Man, this paint is really wet. Where I just put this on here. I did it right in front of you actually, so you know it's real wet. Yeah, I like how uh, burnt sienna and yellow ochre look when they're mixed. I'm not sure why I like it, but I do. That's one of the things I like. And I could, I hate to do the same kind of stuff every paint, but I could put some vines on here and put some nice flowers on. That would make this painting a little more interesting. All right, well, I'm going to finish this up, finish up my barrel, and I'll be back. All right, I think we're coming down to one of the final steps. I went ahead and I put a vine right here. And I'm going to take some alizarin crimson. And this is really, really wet. I'm not kidding. I actually had to wipe some of this off in there at the shop towel. I'm just going to blot this on here and hopefully it sticks where I want it. I might put it a little bit above where I need it. Okay, that's good. All I want is, you know, we're not trying to be perfect here. <laughs> I just want some collar down in here. And we'll try one right here. I'm going to put some uh, cad red light on top of it to brighten it. But this alizarin crimson is a good dark base for it. I'm going to put one right here, right on the side. Yeah, that stuck on there pretty good. That one did. I'm not the best flower maker, but I do like them. I mean, I, I really do. That's how I make flyers. I just blot them on there. There's four. Let's do probably one more. Maybe right here. Let's see. Yeah, that might work because we don't want to overdo it. Let's take some cad red light. This stuff is very bright. I know the sun's not hitting this, but you know, we want it to look bright. I want to be kind of careful about how much of this I put on there. Mm, I, I just love that color. <laughs> 
I said in my last video, my two favorite colors is cad red light and cad yellow light. They are just so nice and vibrant. And this should just about wrap it up for this painting. Well, folks, looks like we're finished. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks.